Hello and welcome to today's guide for the Oculus Quest 2 with your good friend Melodic Hills. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how to live stream your Oculus Quest 2 content directly to YouTube using Streamlabs. We will go over every little step so you can live stream your content to your audience. I will show you what happens on the SideQuest app, the Oculus Cast website settings, your Streamlab settings and setup, and finally, we'll go straight to YouTube and go live together. Thanks for the sub and the like in advance. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started by connecting our Oculus Quest 2 via USB to USB-C to our PC or laptop. Now with your Oculus Quest 2 plugged in and turned on, let's fire up the SideQuest app. If you have any questions regarding how to turn on the developer mode and how to install the SideQuest app to your laptop or PC or how to navigate the settings, click on the card on the top right of the screen or click the link down below in the description to the first guide in this series. That video will show you in detail how to get the developer mode and the SideQuest app fully set up. And then come back to this video and continue with the following. But for those of you that watch my first guide or at the very least understand how to get up to this point with the SideQuest app, let's continue watching. Inside the SideQuest app, let's go to the Tools tab and set our Oculus to full capture 1080p resolution and 3072 texture size. This will give you the best quality, not necessarily the best performance. So keep that in mind. Once everything is set up on the SideQuest app, go to your browser and open the oculus.com slash casting website and make sure to log into this website with your oculus login info now from your vr headset open the menu and open the arrow that gives you access to the recording or casting features inside the oculus quest on the top left you will see the casting option tap it and start casting your content to your pc on the oculus casting website you can adjust the size of the picture to full screen and give access to your oculus audio and microphone for recording or live streaming but if you're using a different microphone for your voice leave the microphone muted and only give access to the oculus quest 2 game audio if you are using your oculus quest as your main source for a microphone unmute it so your voice is also captured while live streaming or recording now that the casting is good to go let's go to streamlabs and go over the settings over there i'm going to assume that you understand the requirements for your laptop or pc when it comes to streamlabs and the settings that you need to achieve the proper picture performance and bitrate if you don't put it down in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you out or i'll make a separate guide dedicated to streamlab background settings alone so make sure to subscribe now so you can catch that upload if it's ever really needed in the streamlabs panel let's create a new scene or we can edit an existing one let's hit that plus sign let's call this scene vr tutorial and save it now in the middle panel i will add my screen by adding Adding a screen capture and selecting the screen that is casting my VR content. If for any reason there's no audio being captured by your Streamlabs, you can navigate to the settings on Streamlabs on the third panel under desktop, select properties and select the proper source where the audio should be coming from and that should fix your problem. Again, if you have questions with this process, put it down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Up next, I want to add a camera, so I'm going to do exactly the same click the plus sign in the middle panel but this time I'm going to select a video capture device and select the camera that I want to use now that my casting my audio my microphone capture and stream labs are set to go and go to the create live stream and schedule a test live stream to make sure that this is all working properly I'm going to call this live stream VR tutorial test live I'm going to go through these options really quick since it's only a test I'm not going to get into the SEO. I'm going to schedule my live stream and good to go. Now let's go back to Streamlabs and go down to the go live button on the bottom right. In this menu option here, let's find our live stream and send it right now. So if I go to my YouTube channel, I should be able to see that my test live stream is good as rolling and I'm able to calibrate 
the sound, the bit rate based on the picture that I'm getting. And that pretty much does it, but I'm pretty sure that you have more specific questions. So make sure to put them down in the comments below. And I'm going to make sure to help you out via Discord, or maybe I'll just reply to your comment right there if it's something really simple. But just in case, remember to subscribe with the notifications on, smack the like button, and remember to come back next time for the Oculus Quest 2 or VR content. Catch you on the next one.